And let's quickly check on the markets here. The Nigerian market finally closing high after a three-day slide. Today, the NSE index closing at 32,772 points. But it was pretty mixed picture. We did see the likes of Oando gain about 9%. So pretty strong gains there. But on the other hand, we continue to see some profit taking in some counters. We saw the likes of Royal Exchange losing almost 4%. Um, UBA Capital losing 5%. Sterling Bank also losing 4.4%. So like I mentioned, pretty mixed bag there. For the FX market, we see the Naira currently trading at 157.75. And let's cross to Stambik IBTC to hear from Yomi Balogun, he's an FX trader, to give us some perspective on the Naira. Yomi, it's great to have you on our show. And I think the important thing to note today is that the Naira is pretty stable after the volatility we've seen recently. Uh, hi, Wally. Yes, the Naira is back at um, uh, 157.75. That's where it closed right. this afternoon. Right. And are you, are you surprised that the, the stability, because we do know that the central bank has come to the table with se several significant auctions. Um, yet on Wednesday, they uh, auctioned $150 million. The day before, they auctioned $230 million. So a lot of um, FX coming into the market to support the Naira. Well, actually, um, we do have FX coming into the market. Uh, we've had some um, auctions by the oil companies. We've yeah. also had the WDS on Monday and on uh, Wednesday. And so actually, there has been some volatility in trading of the Naira. We've seen times when the um, FX rate, like on Monday, went really down at the beginning of the trading session. It, right. it, it appreciated substantially, uh, but then it ticked up later on in the day. Mm. So we've seen um, the market sort of um, flow and ebb as the supplies come in and uh, dry up. Right. Okay, let's talk about the T-bill auction. Um, can you just run us through the results? I know a lot of interest in Nigerian T-bills these days, even from foreign investors that are getting involved in Nigeria's debt. Okay, the auction yesterday, the CBN auctioned um, 91 day, 182 and 364 day bills. Uh, 91 days closed at 9.2%. 9, 9 That's on the discount. Um, the 182 was at 9.4% uh, and the uh, 364 days was at 9.98 percent mm. now the most the one that gained most over the previous auction was the 364 day uh, because of for the 91 and 182 days uh, the rates were pretty much flat it was the same as the last um, auction so but that is about 9.8 or 9.2 and 9.4 .9 but then the 364 jumped to 9.98 Right. which was substantially more than about 40 basis points above the last auction. So do you think that they were, we saw a situation where T-bill yields were lower than they should be? Because like you mentioned, the 364-day yield uh, moving up in, in, the recent, in, the, in the last auction by the central bank. I think what it actually signifies is, like we've said before, that the, in this month we've seen uh, some slowdown from right. the foreign investors into the government securities market. Mm. So this could be responsible for the jump in the yield. How significant do you think this slowdown is for the Naira though? Because we know, particularly last year, the central bank, uh, rather the foreign investors' uh, interest in the market and the flows that we're getting from there was very, was very supportive for the Naira. Well, you, you know that from last year, we are starting out um, like 17, 18% yields or discounts, yeah. and then we're down to like, uh, a nine, ten percent. Right. Obviously, if you're a foreign inspector, you probably want to wait and see what happens. Uh, there has to be some level below which you would not want to commit your funds. And so I, I think we've gotten to a support level for the yields right now. Uh, probably we are going to see the yields begin to tick back up again. But what does it mean for the Naira though? The Naira, um, like I mentioned, the flows from the foreign investors have been important. If they begin to slow down, do you think we could see some weakness in the Naira? That is some of the reason why we see um, the Naira that has depreciated um, in the past few days. Okay, it's mainly because of the support that uh, is not available so much more from the foreign investors. Um, going forward, we, we don't see it lasting because you see what is happening is that once the yield begins to tick back up again and you also have um, even more beneficial exchange rates going above 158 right now, 
it's it's going to provide another re-entry point and right. uh, the investors will probably come back in all right let's leave it there you also will re realize okay. that um, by by march this month we are going to have the um, barclays emerging market index and so that would provide another push for investor interest